welcome, welcome back. I'm hoping it's working. Uh, <laughs> what I thought I'd do, because it's been a while since I've done um, a coffee and gaming video, but I've already had a coffee, so we're just life stuff while I'm talking. But what this video is, is my thoughts on Rayman Game Boy Color Rayman, I think it's just called Rayman on Game Boy Color. I'm playing the Japanese version which is called something else, but I think it's like Dark Rayman or something. I just thought I'd give my thoughts on it. I might put some gameplay somewhere around here, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. May fade it in, but it depends if I can edit it on my laptop, we'll see. But I'm just doing my thoughts because I'm going through the well, I say I'm going through the Rain Man series. I probably won't play all of them, but that's another video. I'll do another video about that. So I'm talking about uh, Rain Man Game Boy Color. I hate this. Plain this annoying. It never gets you never get all the uh, moisture out of it. I do for a moment. See Rain Man Color. So I didn't realise that the uh, Game Boy Color. I never owned the Game Boy Color. So I didn't realise with the Game Boy Color that it actually has got slightly better hardware. So the games are actually slightly better graphics, it's got better um, colour palette obviously. I thought it was just the colours are better, but it is actually a slightly more powerful system than the Game Boy. And I never had a Game Boy Color. I've played one back in the day, or my friend had one, I played a Disney game on it. I can't remember the name of it now. It was like El Dorant or something. If you remember, that was a film with these two like Elder Into or something? I remember playing that in the Game Boy. And I, remember, I, remember, I remember being like... Real, well, I remember being fascinated by it. It did look better than the other Game Boy game. I just didn't realise that the, the Game Boy Colour itself was actually a better console. I didn't realise, but I never owned the Game Boy Colour. I just owned the original Game Boy. But anyway. That's the video, I think, about Game Boys and stuff. And me memories of Game Boy, but... I've been playing the Game Boy. So I've been playing my first Rayman into the series. I thought I'd do the Game Boy Colour Rayman. Instead of original Rain Man, the reason I'm not doing original Rain Man because that game's literally impossible, so I'm not bothering about that. <laughs> so anyway, I might record a gameplay through it, I don't know. I'll put I'll put some gameplay up, but I haven't got any recorded of what I what you'll see. If there's any gameplay around here be something from YouTube and I'll just have to put the channel I got it from. I'll put I'll put on there fair use, I don't know, it's not my I just got it from somewhere else sort of thing. I'll just put a link to the channel from the video I took, if I do a bit of gameplay. But yeah, um, surprisingly really good. I really like it. It's like more of 2D Rayman. And to me, Rayman's always been the first one. To me, that's what Rayman is. I really like the graphics of original Rayman. I like the gameplay and I thought it was amazing. And then that from then on, the gameplay completely changed when all 3D and it, and it annoyed me and I didn't play Rayman 2 or onwards for a long time because I was so annoyed that it changed to 3D and I liked the 2Dness and I have played some more, I haven't played 2 but I played 3 and I did like it but it took me a long time to get over me getting annoyed about it being nothing like the first one but I'm going to keep going off screen now because of uh, drying up and stuff but the gameplay can go in there <laughs> So, yeah, the gameplay is really, really good. It's normally with Game Boy games, you think the quality would be a bit bad, but yeah, it's not as good graphics as the original. Obviously, it's Game Boy Color, but it's better than I thought. The animation is really good, just as good. The movement's just the same as uh, Rayman. The uh, gameplay is the same. All the mechanics are in it from the original Rayman. I haven't beaten it yet. I'm near the end. I think I'm on the last or second to last level. I'm on the Dark Rayman level, which is similar. It is basically the same story as the first game, but it's just different levels, it's the same thing. Which I liked about back in the day of portable versions, they're their own game, their own levels. Now it's just like ports, and it's boring, you might as well just play the console version. Back then you had like separate games to the portable ones, and I like that, because they're unique. But yeah, the levels are all different. It hasn't got all the worlds in it, it's got a few worlds, it's got some of the worlds in the first one. It has all the bonus stages, but they're slightly different. It also has um, 
It hasn't got the fairy in it, but it has most of the abilities, like the helicopter, and when you constantly fly, you have to keep hovering. It's got low stages in it. It's got the uh, grapple. But what is strange, it's like the first game. You don't get the grapple power up for a while, until like half of the game. But before you get that grapple power up, to like grab onto those hanging things, I don't know what you call them, there's levels before that with those hanging things, which you can't access because you haven't got the power up yet. But there's no world map like the first Rain Man, where you can go back on levels and then, because you've got the power up, you can go back and get the extra items or the extra cages. So I don't know how you go back on levels, because you have to, because of that power up. So I don't know how that works. My current playthrough, I'm not um, trying to do 100%, I'm not getting all the cages, it's just too difficult. So I'm just doing standard play, so I probably won't get the best ending. I don't even know if it'll let me do the final boss because I haven't got all the cages, so I'll, well, I'll see. But yeah, it's really good gameplay. Um, the other thing I like about it is the difficulty is much more balanced. But they haven't made it too easy. It's definitely easier than the original, of course, because that original was ridiculous, but... It is definitely a good difficulty and it's not easy easy, like near the end it gets challenging, it has the same essence of all Rayman levels, the old Rayman levels of the like crazy like tight climbing, tight jumping, the moving like uh, spikes and stuff, it's got all the same elements, which is really cool, it's even got the, the, the um, those purple, oh, I don't know what they are, the purple melon things, you know, the uh, fruit you knock down, it's got all that in it. It hasn't got any bosses in it, but the last level well, I'm on the uh, Dark Rayman, which he is hard because Dark Rayman copies your movement, and if he touches you, you're dead. So I, I've only given it one attempt and I failed it. But anyone who's actually played Rayman and probably hasn't got that far, but the reason I know about the Dark Rayman stage is because back in the day I used to use uh, cheats to skip levels in Rayman just to see them all. So I know about the Dark Rayman level on the original, but I never got that far as a kid, but I skipped it to see it, and yeah, it is crazy, because it's in the Game Boy Color one as well, and you have to like, basically race against yourself, because Dark Rayman's a copy of you, and he check, he just copies everything you do, and if he catches up to you, and you touch him, you're dead, and you've got to run to the end of the stage, and I haven't done it yet, and it's just as, it's very hard, but it's not as hard as the original game. That's how far I've got, but I'm still playing it. Yeah? But I'm enjoying all of it, and it's very short, because I think I've been playing for an hour and a half, and it's, it must be near the end. The only problem with it, the main problem, is the music. The music is terrible. It, the music is constantly looping. It's awful. It sounds awful. <laughs> That's the main downfall of it. I think you can turn it off in the menu, so maybe you should if you play it. Which is a shame, because the music on the original Rayman was amazing. I love the music on Rayman. But like the movement's the same, there's no, there's not like the speed, the acceleration, how Rayman acts is no different to the main game, the original, so I, I was surprised. So this is the first one I've been playing out of the series, I'm going through it. And I definitely recommend it, I'm not going to give scores or anything, because there's no point, I'm just going to say what I might thoughts on it. I think the level designs are good, there's no... Annoying levels are this is boring, you know, like some state in some games now you get like a certain stage or world which is just frustrating, you don't want to play it. You it makes you maybe not replay it again because of those frustrating levels. For example, I may go give a brief example, but Blast Master Zero. I've beaten it but I haven't got the best ending, I haven't done the final ending because there's a whole error I really don't like, I don't want to do it again. So stuff like that's not in Rayman Colour. Game Boy Color version. I recommend it, it's really good. If you like Rain Man, if you like the original Rain Man and you want more, then I definitely recommend playing the Game Boy Color one. Now I know there is Rain Man Gold as well, but I don't know, I remember that was on PC, it's hard to get hold of, so yeah. It's one of those games you can just casually play as well, you could easily like... I don't know how to explain it, but... I'm just going to call them background games, I think that's what I'm going to call these, it's certainly, I don't even know, there's certain games you can play where you don't have to like be involved and be completely immersed into the world to enjoy it. 
like at the moment I'm playing God of War and that's obviously headphones in the game. The PS4 God of War, which I, that's another video and I beat that and I'll tell my thoughts on that. But like a game like old platformers like Rayman and stuff like that is a background game. So what I normally do is I'll put some, a video in the background and then I'll have a kind of chill environment. It's like, like a cozy environment I'll play the game and you can kind of have like background. As a kid, you probably had that, where, where you maybe if you remember, you had memories of like your parents probably watching something and you're in the room just playing the Game Boy, and this is like background, like news and stuff, and this is the atmosphere. So, I'd like, I like that. And obviously, modern games now they're all like so involving, you want to get into the story and everything, so you can't really do that, you want to have full focus on them. But old games, you could just like half focus, which you it's important to have that. So, it's one of those games. I haven't been playing it like that, I've been playing it in the morning, when I wake up. I've said this many times, and I'll say it again, I have a morning game, a main game, a skill game, and then a background game, which is the new thing, where I have like a video in the background and just kind of chill all the game. Morning game is when I wake up in the early and have the atmosphere of the early morning, and that's Rayman Colour, Game of Colour is what I'm doing, is my morning game. And then, it's so hot today. <laughs> Crazy weather, and then the main game, and so on. And I'm just babbling on there. I don't do a Rayman, but yeah, Rayman Color, Game World Color is really good. And I know there's other Rayman games. I think I don't know if there's another Rayman game, Game of Color, but I know there is Rayman Game of Arts. There's a couple on that, which I'll go through. I'm gonna go through them in order. I don't know if I'm gonna play Rayman yet. But this is Rayman Color. Maybe Rayman Game Boy Color. I keep saying Rayman Color, but I recommend it. It's very good. If you can get hold of it, well, just emulate it. I don't know trying to find it. It's pretty rare as hell to try and get a real copy of it, but yeah. I'm going to leave it anyway. I'm going to wash up while talking, so. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> I'll see you next time.